Hey friends, today on Gardening with Freakside, I am excited to share with you the 2023 new annual introductions from Proven Winners. If you are familiar with Creekside Nursery, you know that we are a grower retailer. And so what does that mean? It means that we grow our plants and then we sell them to you, our customers. We have a really great relationship with Proven Winners. And part of that fantastic relationship is that they will send us the new introductions for the next year. So we actually grew the plants that I'm going to share with you today last year. We got to grow them as a grower here in our greenhouses. Then once the weather was ready, then we were able to move them outside into our garden. So the vast majority of these plants that I'm gonna talk about, we have had personal experience, hands-on experience with them. There are a few that we have not grown yet, but we're gonna share some great information about those with you as well. This is gonna be a two-part video because there's like 30-something plants that we have to introduce to you. If you are a faithful watcher of Creekside Nursery, you will most likely be familiar with some of these because we were so blown away with them last year that we couldn't help but not talk about them last year. So get comfy, grab your gardening journal, just get ready because we're gonna dive into some gorgeous annuals that will be on the market this coming year. So this spring, 2023, that you will be able to find at your local garden center, including Creekside Nursery. So without further ado, what was really fun, um, well, these are all fun. So I'm just gonna stop saying that because they're all fantastic plants. Really excited though to see when we got the list that there are three new mini Vista Petunias that they put into their line. So we have Supertunia Mini Vista Yellow, Supertunia Mini Vista Scarlet, and Supertunia Mini Vista Midnight. These three colors are really brand new. Um, there are no colors that are like that within the Mini Vista line. So it was really fun to have them. Mini Vistas, of course, are fantastic, both for containers, hanging baskets, landscape, you name it, they are extremely versatile. And then when you add in these three new colors of basically yellow, red, and then a deep, deep purple, the Midnight, it is really fun and you can just use them in tons of different ways. Now, the mini vistas really are, um, they're rated as like part sun to sun. We have found for us in North Carolina, a zone 7B, if you can give them a slight break in the late afternoon, that does help to retain their color a little bit longer. If they're protected, that they will really go far into the fall because the super tunias, are pretty cold resistant. So even when you have cool nights, even a light frost, they still can handle it. Um, the Super Tunia Mini Vista Yellow was really fun. I paired it with a new introduction that I'm gonna talk about here in a little bit. When you paired that yellow with a pink, it was gorgeous. I had it in my deck boxes on the backyard, in the back patio area, and they did great. Um, the red, of course, if you're like a really bold color, then you've got to love that scarlet. It's very much of like a, of a cherry red and you can again use it in the landscape or hanging baskets, containers, and then midnight for me, if you're familiar with Supertunia um, Royal Velvet, it reminds me of that color. So it's a, a really deep, deep purple, hence its name Midnight. But the Mini Vistas, if you're not familiar, are just a wonderful petunia where they have a really great vigor and they're very thick and they're very full and they're very luscious, but they're not a crazy spreader like the Vista series. So if you need have an area where you need something a little bit more controlled and not such massive coverage, then the mini Vistas are gonna be a great option for you. So look for Super Tunia Mini Vista Yellow, Super Tunia Mini Vista Scarlet, and Super Tunia Mini Vista Midnight. It's fun three new colors that you can add into your garden this year. So not to teach you too much, but the fun uh, new caliber koa that I paired with the Super Tunia Mini Vista Yellow was the Super Bells Prism Pink Lemonade. Now this is a really fun, fun plant. Uh, but the Super Bells Pink Lemonade is brand new, obviously, but it's very, um, unique in the fact that they've never really had, I think there may have been one petunia that they had that does this. Basically the plant changes colors. 
So it'll start out a beautiful kind of a yellow, and then as it ages, then it'll turn to a nice, deep, rich pink. So you get all these different shades of yellow, pinks in there, um, and it really does look like pink lemonade. It is fantastic. It is gorgeous. And then you pair it with a mini Vista yellow, really, really fun. Again, I had the pink lemonade in my deck boxes because it is a super bell. It is a caliber color. They do not like to have wet feet. I in North Carolina have clay soil. So when my soil gets wet, it stays wet. Caliber coas do not do well. The only time that I have ever heard of caliber coas doing well in the landscape, like directly in the ground, is my folks who live out east and have very sandy soil and it just drains really, really well. So if you have extremely well draining soil like sand down east, um, North Carolina, then you could probably put it in the landscape. Other than that, Proven Winners and I as a grower really recommend that you put your pink lemonade in a container, in a hanging basket, window boxes, any kind of container that's up out of the ground. But that pink lemonade is just an absolutely stunning color and you've got that, that just that color array on one plant. It looks like you've got multiple plants growing together, but it's not. It is one beautiful plant. Of course, it has that trailing habit, so it really does you know, work as your spiller in a container. Um, just absolutely stunning. So that this is gonna be a big hit. I already know that people are gonna love this pink lemonade, so put that one on your list for sure for next year. This year, not next year. We have another fantastic Super Bells for you. Now, this is not a brand new one, but it is an improved plant. This is Super Bells Yellow. And we as a grower absolutely love to have Super Bells Yellow in a hanging basket. It is stunning and makes a big improvement, like a big show, both here at the nursery and then of course at your house. Honestly though, there was a little bit of issues as a grower that we had trying to get it to root really well. So the Super Bells Yellow Improved, you as a consumer may not see a whole lot of difference because you're still gonna have those, that same classic, beautiful, bright yellow flower. But for us as a grower, they're gonna be a little bit easier to grow because they have a more vigorous root system, it gets established better. And so if we as the grower have a stronger plant, well, what does that mean for you as the homeowner? That means that you're gonna have a more happy, healthier plant that goes into your garden. It is a little bit more vigorous as far as the root system goes, so that means it's not gonna be quite as finicky. It is gonna be a little bit more upright, gonna work really well in your containers where you can pair it with other you know, plants and it will do really, really well. But if you are looking to make an impact, especially like from a distance, yellow is a great color to use because it is very bright and you do see it from a distance. That's why we love putting them as what we call a mono basket. That simply means that we have a hanging basket and there's multiple plants in there, but they're all the same plant. So it's a mono culture. They're all the same plant, but it's this big, beautiful display of bright yellow. So the Super Bell's Yellow Improved is gonna be a little bit easier for us as a grower to grow, which then means you as the home gardener are gonna have even greater success with the classic Super Bell's Yellow. Carrying on with the theme of the Super Bell's Yellow, now not only do we have the single bloom, but we also have the double bloom. So it is Super Bell's Double Yellow, which is a really fun, cute little bloom on it. Still that really bright, um, electric yellow that makes a big impact from a distance, still is a calvercoa, so you're gonna wanna have it in some type of container, not the landscape, but the double is just, like I said, it's just a really unique, sweet bloom. Um, it is one that you're gonna wanna see kind of up close. So if you have um, a container by your front door somewhere, something that you're gonna walk by and be able to see it up close, that is what this bloom is all about because it just really has that unique double bloom feature to it and you're going to want to take notice of it again you can use it in your containers you could do it as a monoculture all by itself or you could pair it with a whole host of different plants to really kind of bring some pop it is going to be a trailer fantastic really sweet little bloom on that super bells double yellow to switch things up a little bit now this is a really fun plant and i'm going to admit 
This time last year, when I heard about these, I was like, mm, I don't know, I have my doubts. Well, I was proven wrong. So some new um, additions to the Proven Accents line are the two new climbing sweet potato vines. So it is the Sweet Caroline Upside Key Lime and then the Upside Black Coffee. Basically their habits and their growth and how you're gonna use them are the exact same. You just have two color choices. You have Key Lime, which is this really bright, chartreuse green really stands out and then of course you have black coffee which as the name uh, alludes to is a really really dark dark foliage to it now from personal experience i can tell you that these plants may start out when you buy them at your local garden center they may probably going to be like in a grande and about that size they might be in a little bit of a bigger container if they're going to go ahead and trellis them for you they may start out slow but when the heat hits the heat the humidity these things are going to take off they go nuts so super vigorous climber they will climb whatever they are near so i had them in both the water trough near the in front of the barn because i have an obelisk in that so i had lots of fun of the new plants in there and then in the center i had an obelisk and it had um <laughs> this is where i messed up it had two of the key lime and two of the black coffee. I did not need four of those growing on a small-ish size obelisk. I only needed one of each color. Super vigorous, but man, it made an absolute showstopper. It was gorgeous. Then I also had it out in the trial gardens, out in the landscape, where it is not on irrigation and just let them go. We had it there, and then I even used it in the trial gardens as a ground cover. So the possibilities for this plant is limitless. You can use these two plants interchangeably, whether it's key lime or black coffee. It really is gonna depend on what color palette you, you're looking for. So do you wanna go dark? Do you wanna go light green? Do you use both of them and let them contrast off of each other? You can certainly do that. But if you are looking to have a temporary screening, when I, when I say temporary, I mean it for like the season, right? You, this would be fantastic whether it is a fence if it's an unsightly garden shed that you are trying to kind of blend into your garden absolutely these would be great great choices just I can't tell you how easy they were to grow fast ground cover you will need you can use these as well I will say just keep in mind that not only will they start growing on structures, but if they start to run out of room, they will also start to grow up your other plants. So just keep that in mind when you're pairing them and give them plenty of space to grow because um, you might have to do just a little bit of maintenance as far as keeping them off of say like your coleus that you planted with it or your um, surefire begonias, right? So you just might have to keep them a little bit in check, but it's super easy to do and they are gorgeous plants. I was going to put, I think I'm going to put mine on my, the back side of my garden shed this year. I have um, where we used to have chickens and it was a chicken run. So we still have all that chicken wire up and it's, I don't know, a six foot panel. And I want to kind of hide that. So this, I think I'm going to use the black coffee because it'll kind of mute everything and just let it blend into the background. Maybe I will plant like three of these plants, four of these plants. There is a, it's a two panel section. It will cover it and it will be absolutely gorgeous. Low maintenance on my part, super easy. So really fun. I promise they do climb. If you wanted to put it in a basket, it would also trail, but it really is meant to go up. So look for those two new upside sweet potato vines this year. Jerry's new favorite plant as soon as we opened the box, he loved this plant. It is the Color Blaze Mini Me Watermelon Coleus. If you have been following us, you probably know how much Jerry loved this plant. Because every time we talked about it, he just like, I love this plant. I love all of the Color Blaze Coleuses from Proven Winners because they're really easy. They are sun or shade. So you can do either one or something in between. Even here in the South, they can take sun. Might need to get a little irrigation on it, but just like kind of that series name alludes to, Mini Me is a little petite color blaze coleus. 
It is going to be the smallest, most petite one out there yet that Proven Winners offers. And then watermelon. I mean, it is the absolute perfect name for this plant because it has that red, the green, that little bit of yellow in there. And then the foliage on it is really unique. It is more narrow and frilly, if I should use that term for a coleus. Really, really nice ruffled leaves on it. And it only gets, gosh, I think it was, I don't have the specs in front of me, but I'm going to say like, 18 to two feet tall, right? And and not very, you know, I mean, it, it spread out and it was nice and wide, but you don't have to worry about pinching it. Um, so if you have used Color Blaze Coleus in the past from Proven Winners and you're like, oh my gosh, by the end of the season, this thing was massive and it was completely taken over my container. Well, then you might want to try Mini Me Watermelon because it is much more petite, controlled, and nice in stature. It is really well branching. You're, again, you're not going to have to go in there and pinch it a ton. Now, will it hurt if you do? Absolutely not. Probably would be a good thing once or twice for the whole season to give it a little bit of a pinch. But really great fun uh, plant. I had it in the water trough with those sweet potato vines with the mini vistas, right? So all of those reds and the yellows, all those work really, really well together. Big, huge, bold color. We had people, because the water trough is right where you check out at the barn, and people were always like, what are these plants? So it's a really great showstopper. And that watermelon coleus, it is gonna, I think it's gonna really be a classic because it is just so easy, nice and petite. You're gonna love the size of it and you're gonna love the foliage on the new Color Blaze Mini Me Watermelon Coleus. So Jerry had his favorite last year and I definitely had a couple that really rose to the top. And one of those was a new Lantana. So the new one that I just fell in love with was the Royale Lemon Tart. This Lantana is just amazing. There is all that, so that's all I can say about it. In the South, of course, Lantana does really, really well here because it can handle the heat. It can handle our humidity. It is drought tolerant. It really can handle all the conditions that the Southern garden can throw at it. I had it in a huge mass planting right beside our driveway, zero irrigation. My mama planted it for me in late spring. We may have watered it once or twice. Nice, rich, organic soil there. But other than that, I just let it go. And at the end of the season, it was glorious. It had made this massive, huge pop of yellow color. And the lantana too, this lemon tart is really nice because it's not going to get massive. It's going to be about that 12 to 24 inches. So no more really than two feet tall. Some lantanas, if you're familiar with my Miss Huff, is taller than I am. So to have a nice controlled lantana like lemon tart is really nice. It will do great in containers because it is that on that smaller stature. And then of course the landscape in mass planting. If you want to attract your pollinators, your butterflies, your bees, lantana is a wonderful way to do that. And it truly is low maintenance. I have big plans for lemon tart. It is going to go in multiple areas of our garden this year. So be prepared to have a lot of lemon tart coming your way this growing season, but it really is just a nice controlled. And it, if you, with the pictures, it may look like I had gone in there and pinched them. I did not. They just grew in that natural kind of that spherical habit to them and just was really nice. I cannot tell you how much I love this lemon tart. Gorgeous color, huge, big impressions in your garden. So especially if you're in the South, get some lantana. When you're going to your garden center in the spring, your lantana may be a little bit on the small side because why? Lantana loves it hot, dry, and lots of humidity. In the spring, we haven't reached those conditions yet. So go ahead, get it then, get it in the ground so that the roots can get really well established before that heat hits. When the heat does hit, you're going to be so glad that you put the lantana in the ground because it is going to go all the way through a hard freeze. So make sure you get Lantana, that Royale Lemon Tart in your garden cart this year and bring it home with you. Continuing with the Lantana theme here, we have a, another new Lantana that has a little bit of a different twist on it. So this is Luscious Basket Tangelo Lantana. 
Now, as its name suggests, basket. This is going to be a fantastic lantana to put in a container, especially a hanging basket. Talking to my southern people here, the hot, if you have that, you know, that front porch, the area, the back porch, wherever it is that just gets that intense hot afternoon sun, this would be a great option for you. Maybe you've had petunias there before and that, you know, mid to late summer, they just peter out. Well, this luscious basket tangelo is going to be a great option for you because not only is it mounded, but it also trails. So that's why it makes such a great hanging basket. Really fun colors. It will start out a beautiful yellow and then transition to some corally colors with some orange in it. So you're going to get, again, on that same plant, you're going to get some color variation. Whereas lemon tart was just a solid yellow that stays yellow, the basket tangelo is going to transition and have multiple colors in there for you. With your hanging basket, if you're going to put it in a hanging basket, we always recommend that you buy a great hanging basket that you can use from year to year and that you maybe you plant them yourself. Or if you buy this as a hanging basket from the nursery, maybe it's in a 10 inch pot, take it home and move it up to like a 14, a 17, a 20 inch pot, nice and big because you can have more soil in there, which means more water retention, more room for your roots to grow. When you move it up to the biggest container that your space will allow for, then you're gonna get more life and more enjoyment out of that plant, especially if it is a really hot, hot spot. This will handle it. It can do it, not a problem. You just need to make sure that it gets the adequate water because sometimes our hanging baskets will dry out faster than if they're in the landscape, right? So if you do have it in a hanging basket, just be mindful of how you water it. But the Tangelo is gorgeous. We paired it last year with the Suncredible Saturn, which was you know the sunflower, that reblooming sunflower. So we had the sunflowers kind of up tall at the nursery, and then the Tangelo was an under, um, an under planting that was a little bit low. Same color palette, did really nice, gorgeous color. Again, went all the way through to the fall. So if you're looking for something different, you want a different option of a hanging basket, then you really want to try that luscious basket tangelo lantana. All right, continuing with the hot theme and those bold yellow colors. Y'all, this plant knocked our socks off last year. Both Jerry and I were just blown over by this plant. What am I talking about? The Mojave Yellow Improved Portulaca. Now you may go, Portulaca? What is so fantastic about Portulaca? Well, this is what's fantastic about Portulaca. This plant is stunning. It is gorgeous. It has the biggest flowers I have ever seen on a Portulaca. Massive, huge, bright yellow flowers. If you are, there's multiple ways that you can, the reason you want this plant, right? If you want pollinators in your garden, definitely this is it because massive amounts of honeybees and bumblebees and little beneficial wasps were on this plant all the time. Portulaca also is very heat tolerant, drought tolerant. So if you live in a hot, dry area, maybe you have water restrictions where you live. And so you're really limited in your garden that you can't pump out all the water on your plants. This yellow improved is gonna be a great option for you. And with these massive flowers that just stand out, you are not sacrificing beauty and flower power because it has to you know, have low water needs, not at all. It is a fantastic, you can use it in the ground, we did that. We also used it in that front of that water trough. So it actually trailed over because I planted it right there at the front and it spilled over. Nice, vigorous plant, not invasive, but a nice vigor to it. And because it is kind of in that sedum type family, it is that really low water needs. Also with Portulaca, in the past and other varieties, People complain that, and I was one of them, right? Because their blooms open and close with the sun. And so maybe they would, you didn't see as much of the flower because it really would not open and stay open for the vast majority of the day. That's part of this yellow improved. It stays open longer during the day. And it really does. I mean, it is just, I just cannot explain to you the, the appeal of this plant. It is just stunning. So. You can use it in a container. If you wanted to put it in a hanging basket, you could do that. 
You can put it in the landscape. If you have that problem area where you can't get out and water it, perfect. It is great. It is a low ground cover and will do really, really nice, massive bold color on it that attracts your pollinators and little fuss for you. So make sure you get that Mojave Yellow Improved Portulaca this year for sure. Now, our last plant of the day is not a new plant, but it is going to be the annual of the year this year from Proven Winners. So every year, Proven Winners puts out their kind of their plant of the year. So there's different categories and always they have the annual of the year. This year, the annual of the year is the Truffula Pink Gum Freena. To know Gum Freena uh, is to love this Gum Freena. It is, again, loves the sun, loves the heat, drought tolerant. Um, once it is established, it does really, really well. Massive pollinator attractor, especially with your butterflies. The butterflies really enjoy this plant, but it has a really unique habit in that it is kind of a light, airy plant where it'll shoot out and then it has these beautiful balls on the ends of it that would be somewhere between a pink, for me, like a pink and a light purple. It is the truffle of pink, has that really beautiful color to it. And then the actual flower part are the little yellow flowers that pop out of those pink balls. But it is a fantastic plant. It is very easy. It is a very forgiving plant. Mama of three teenagers that have, you know, they're now teenagers. They weren't always teenagers. They were little. You know, we have Brenna, who is that one-year-old German Shepherd. Before her, we had another German Shepherd. Um, so to say that my garden sometimes gets to be a little rough and tumbled is an understatement. Gumfrina, while sometimes if, it, if you have a windstorm or your dog runs through it or your kid runs through it or basketball lands in it, yes, you may lose a little piece where it snaps off, but that does not hurt the plant whatsoever. It just grows back more vigorous and happy throughout the growing season. It will go all throughout that growing season. And what's really fun about the Truffula Pink is it makes fantastic dried flowers. I actually have some dried flowers in my house that are two or three years old where I went out and I cut the blooms, did a string around them, turned them upside down, hung them up to dry, and then put them in some vases. Gorgeous. So you can extend the life of, the, of your gum frina by bringing it indoors in the fall and in the winter as dried flowers. So make sure that you grab some of the Truffula Pink Gum Frina as the annual of the year. Incorporate that into your garden. It has that medium height, works really well for the middle of your border. Put some petunias in front of it. It'll be absolutely stunning. Now, for the next part, part two of the video, if you are looking for, if you're in the South, and you're looking for an early crop, something that you, flowers that you can put out there when we still have pretty cool temperatures and our nights can go up and down. I've got those for you. My folks who are in cooler climates, you're like, well, Jenny, I'm not in the deep hot south. What do I do? Aha, don't fret my pet. I've got plants for you on that. And we've also got a lot of gorgeous proven accents. So those plants that really accentuate and accent all these gorgeous flowers that we have showed you thus far. Lots more fun plants to come, so stay tuned for part two of the 2023 new introductions from Proven Winners. As always, I hope that you found this helpful, informative. I hope it has fed your gardening soul a little bit. Spring is going to be here before we know it. We're going to be out in the garden. You're going to be at your garden center. So go with that shopping list in hand. Get ready for them, um, and we just appreciate you. Have a great day, and as always, thanks for gardening with Creekside. Bye, friends.